Hello, in this session, we're going to take a look at managing our profiles for our Kodak Picture Saver scanners using the Twain Data Source dialog box. In this particular example, we're going to take a look at creating a 600 DPI TIFF image that is scanned using not only just the picture side, but the back side of the photographs with some selection in order to help filter out any blank pages that may not have any writing on them on the back of the photographs. In order to get started, we're going to take a quick look at the orientation of our dialog box. Across the top, you'll have a setting shortcuts here. Um, you can move profiles up and down to your preference using the up and down arrows. There's a place for the inputting of the document and what side will be scanned, a place for additional settings, previewing your scan settings along with OK and Cancel. If you have any other questions about specific areas of your dialog box, you can use the Help button. When you do, you'll be presented with this Help dialog box that will allow you then to search specific key phrases or look at its contents. We're going to use in our example the default setting, and we're going to make those adjustments that we spoke about earlier to the default setting. The first thing we had indicated was we were going to scan both sides of the photograph, meaning we're going to place the photographs with the picture side up, but if photographs have writing on them on the back, some treasured comments about who is in the photograph or where it was taken, uh, we're going to capture them as well. Once we have made that selection, we're going to move to the settings and to our first tab, which is the general tab, where we will select the 24-bit color scan function. We will select photograph as the type of document. We will select the glossy paper. We're going to select 600 DPI in this particular example. We also had said that we were going to use these as an output into the TIFF format by using the type none that automatically will uh, output the information in raw format. We'll move to size where we will select automatic detect and straighten. We will use the scan the entire document. We are going to remove just the uh, slight edges of the border for any irregular cuts of the photograph when they were processed through the automatic processing devices that were used to process film. We're not going to rotate our images post-scan. We are not going to use brightness nor contrast adjustments, color balance, sharpening, or background smoothing. Our enhancements will be no for the whole fill, no for the color fill, and no for streak. But in this case, we are going to select a blank image detection. We have two choices we can select based upon document content and document size. In our example, we're going to use a document content and use 1%. This 1% will allow for those pen marks that are used in something of one or two words on the back of a photograph to be recorded, but bypass any types of marks or such as the printing marks on Kodak paper or Fuji paper, whatever it is, uh, it will bypass those and miss them. So now once we've gone through our four tabs, we're going to go back to home. We'll notice that our default has changed with the specific settings. We're going to hit save and we have now saved them. Now we can call up the default profile and scan it in our Presto Page Manager application, and you will get a photograph that is scanned on both sides, scanning picture side up with the back side will be removed if it has anything less than 1% of content on it based upon the algorithm that the, the um, application we use. It will be output in 600 DPI, full color, and in a TIFF output. 